Shep is probably going to burn through his grass to make that fur. You are? Yeah, we'll tell you what. Uh-oh, something's coming. Oh, gosh. Shep! You better not attack my Shep, you. Oh, you stinker! And so, Paulina Punchwood, the heroine of our story, mother of dinos, friend of the apes, and... Oh, wait a second. This is an Ark? It smells like Ark, it tastes like Ark, it even looks like Ark, but... Uh, is that a dragon? I think that's a wyvern. Oh, cool! So yeah, this is dark and light. It's like Ark. In fact, I think it's built on the same engine as Ark, and you could even say this is Ark Fantasy Edition. <laughs> but there are dragons in the game, apparently, so Paulina here will actually be the mother of dragons someday. Hopefully, if we continue with this game, anyway. But yeah, um, so I've been playing now for a little bit, a couple of hours, and I'm getting somewhat established and trying to learn the game. It's not exactly like Ark. In fact, one of the biggest differences is you have a skill usage here. And your skills go up based on uh, actions that you do in the game, like harvesting straw from shrubs, harvesting twine from trees, will rank up your straw work. And that's so we can build structures. And obviously there's a lot of magic here. Staffs, alchemy, light magic, dark magic, fire magic, etc. And here's all the adventuring skills. Um, so all we have to do to level that stuff up is, uh, is use those skills. Um, so yeah, it's more, it's got more of RPG feel to it, so you can say maybe a mix between Ark and, um, and Skyrim almost. And there are NPCs, there's non-player characters in the game, there's a non-player character town right there, and we can go in there and do some trading with some people, and, uh, maybe we'll get to that eventually, but I think for today, um, what we're gonna do is build Paulina a little home, and I'm very curious about that wyvern. I don't think Pauline is high level enough to um, to tame that feller, but we can tame something else. In fact, why don't we get our taming bow ready to go? These are taming arrows that I made. They're called stone hook arrows, and the taming process here is a little bit different than it is from Ark. You have to shoot these stone hook arrows into the critters and uh, tether them to the ground and make them tired. You got to fatigue them, and then you can tame them some kind of a trough or something. In fact, why don't we make that trough right now? Um, I should have enough wood in here. We've got plenty of supplies for this kind of thing. Oh, we got to grab a bunch of uh, straw, too. Backpack is growing heavy. That's okay, because we have a spell for that. Let's bring up our spell crafting radial dial here. And we have a rune of gravity. Let's cast that spell right there. Watch this. Boom! That increases our carry capacity makes us stronger it's awesome and we have a little fairy here let's bring out our fairy paulina oh isn't she adorable meteor watch out oh that's a close one bad things come out of those let's go check it out and then a rune of warmth if it's cold out it's not cold right now so you don't really need that but i just want to show off so yeah isn't that excellent um let's make this trough can i make the trough i'm not sure if i have this knowledge oh i do there it is and i got everything we need let's make one trough and i think we have to plop that down next to whatever creature we decide to tame and then fill it with some uh, food and hopefully it'll join us in our quest to seek the holy oh wait a minute okay let's go build paulina a house and we're gonna have to do it on the other side of the river because the uh the townsfolk don't want any wizards moving in this close you can't build out here. They don't like it. So let's grab this sleeping bag. Let's, oh, gosh, you just tore it to shreds, Paulina. What'd you do? Yeah, apparently you can pick them up. Where did that go? Oh, here it is. Yeah, we got it. But, oh, it took a little damage when she picked it up. I guess it has a limited number of uses. Okay, no biggie. We'll carry that along with us, and we'll go across the uh, bridge and put together a shabby straw hut. I guess Pauline has never heard of the uh, Three Little Pigs. Because I have a feeling that strabby shaw, the strab, Shabby Straw Hut, say that a thousand times fast, is going to get destroyed very quickly. There's lots of nasty creatures across that river, from what I understand. Hello, Sheepy! I think we need a friend. What do you say? Let's do a taming job. Our first taming job. 
You want to come along with me? Now, apparently, if you have a sheep, it'll give you... Hey, stop running! I gotta... We're trying to tame you, little feller. It'll, um... It'll give you free wool or whatever it gives. Oh, can I only have one tether at a time? No, I have more. Oh, did I just shoot the ground? Oh, we got him! See? It's like a blue magic tether line. Isn't that awesome? There we go, level 20 wild sheep. Now, just in case we get any... Oh, well, you know what? No, let's not do that. Let's, uh, let's keep those taming arrows in there in case he wakes up again. Uh, let's get that trough down. We've got two separate hot bars here, which is kind of nice. We'll put the trough right here. And we put food in it. Uh, what do you eat, little guy? Probably grass. And maybe some berries. It's an herbivore, so we're going to put some herbs in there. How about some hay? Nope. Nope, definitely doesn't like the uh, the straw. Okay, well, hopefully... Oh, yeah, it's working. See the taming bar? About halfway through already. Come on, baby. Oh, we got him. Uh, wait a minute. Are you a girl or a boy? I don't know. We know what we're going to call you Shep. Short for Shepley. Shepley! Does it say female or male here? Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, hold on, Shep. We're going to give you... Some food from the trough. And it looks like Shep likes grass. So we're going to fill Shep up with some grass. There you go. Have some grass, Shep. And then Shep... Oh! Oh, we can make this stuff right here? Furs taken from animals used to craft items. Oh! We can craft it just like this. Hey, Shep, make us <laughs> some fur! <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool! All right, let's go get some more grass. It's easy enough just by punching some bushes here. Punch that bush, Paulina. Actually, I think I get more if we use a sword. Whoops, wrong thing. Oh, I just cast a spell. I had the wrong hotbar out. Well, welcome back, little fairy. All right, yeah, you get grass with a sword. So very much like Ark, you have the right tool for the job. Oh, hi, Shep. Shep's coming along. Um, and apparently you use a sword on bushes to get grass. Are you hungry? There you go. Shep's working on making us some fur. So that way I don't have to kill sheep to get fur. But for now, we are going to cross the bridge and go work on our first home. I think this might be a little too dangerous over there for, uh, for Shep. <laughs> oh well. It was mostly for science. I just wanted to see if we could he um, tame and what that process was like. Oh, there's a bramble hopper there on the other side. You see it hopping around? Maybe we'll we'll tame a bramble hopper. But first, this is a very big moment for Paulina. She's never been any farther than this bridge. When she takes that one step, that's as far as she's ever gone. Just like Samwise Gamgee when he left the Shire. Right? On the on the quest in Lord of the Rings. So here we go. Big step! I did it! We did it! You did it, Paulina. Awesome. And now, Paulina's adventure begins. Someday, she shall be the mother of dragons in dark and light, if you guys want to see more. Oh, enter the town, exit the town. Okay. So, it's still kind of in the border of the town. Oh, I kind of want to get close to the river so we can have that as a natural defense for a shelter. And... But I don't want to be in the town. Oh, see, enter the town there. Try to want to find a flat area if possible. Here, this is kind of nice. It's up on a hill. Got the river there. Nothing can climb up there. Yeah. I think this will do. Shepley! Shep, come here. Let's use some magic, and I'm going to show you guys how to suck the life right out of these rocks. Look at that magic spell. And you can see there in the bottom left-hand corner, melee crafting, thaumaturgy, light magic, enchanting, all those skills are now on the rise because we're using this, uh, this magic. You're getting magic shards. Hi, Shep. Yep, I seize you. You're fine. Now, is that just detritus? Yeah, that's just scrap. Okay. Um, can we suck the bush? Suck the life out of that? No, you can't suck the life out of bushes for some reason. You have to just punch them. But you can suck the rocks. So we just want to like clear an area here so we can um, start building. Can I suck a tree? Oh, yeah. We're just getting shards out of it, though. Kind of want a lot of twine for building, so let's switch to sword. 
There we go. Armor crafting is going to be at 100% pretty soon. We can start making some better armor, perhaps? Whoa! That tree didn't know what it wanted to do. Alright, let's chop down the bushes, too. We got flowers and berries, and of course, everything here has a use. Oh, armor crafting's up. Nice! A lot of this material that we're getting can be uh, sold in town for cash. Uh, Shep, you better watch out, Shep. Let me put that away just in case I hit Shep by accident. Oh, we're getting berries and grass out of the bushes. Very nice. Holy smokes, there's a big bird. Giant eagle coming this way. I don't know if they're friendly or what. Let me put my fireball spell on my staff. Oh, you know what else I have I didn't even use? Look at this right here. This um, cobweb crystal ball spell on my offhand for um, uh, webbing creatures. Oh, it's a griffin! It's a griffin! Part lion, part eagle. Right? Oh, it's amazing! Oh, I got a has me one of those. We'll be the mother of griffins for a little while. I don't know what he's occupied with something over there. Oh, there's a bramble hopper. Maybe he's eating the bramble hoppers. I wonder if there's like an actual ecology and uh, food chain thing going on here. And the creatures have to eat. I don't know. All right, drop the staff for one second here, Pauline. Let's we've got to clear this place out because I want to get this foundation down. And we're gonna do it right here. Punch them bushes. She's good at punching wood. I mean, it's in her name, after all. Oh, we got a rock out of this tree. That's cool. All right, I think that's clear enough. Whoa! Uh, I heard a growl. It's pretty wild over here. There's like these Bargesh hyenas. Oh, there's an undead skeleton down there killing all the little bunny wabbits. Ramble hoppers. All right, uh, I'm not getting involved. Not getting involved. It's like the city here. You just watch and hope that that skeleton doesn't come for you. Uh, let's put a foundation right there. And another foundation here. Shabby! Shabby foundation. Not too shabby, as they say. And how about the door? I already made all this stuff up, obviously, so we could speed through this. Uh, but much like Ark, you can just whip these things together. They just snap together very easily. And all oh, the walls do have windows! I wasn't sure. Yes, they do, Shep. You're right. Because when you build it, and you look at it in your inventory, it doesn't look like it has a window. And I couldn't find the option to build another window. Uh, we're going to need more walls. So let's craft up some more walls right here. Shabby walls. Give me a couple shabby walls. And did I make ceilings? I don't think I could have. Yeah, here we go. A couple of ceilings. And we'll have a little shack. Which, again, probably won't protect us from the big nasties out here. Most of them, but... This is better than nothing. We'll have a place to store things. Oh! Something happened. Straw work! Oh, no, no. Oh, level up. 14. Alright, Paulina! Congratulations! Ding grats, girl. Level 14. So we can bump up our stats and stuff. Let's do that right now. Uh, weight is always good. Attack, health. I mean, we need pretty much everything right now. I'm going to try to get my weight up to 200. Mana and focus are both used in spell casting, and I, I want to focus on spell casting, but you know what? We need, we need health. We need health out here. Everything hits pretty hard. Um, yeah, so one of the reasons I want to get this thing built today is to get my, um, I'm going to get the mortar and pestle down so we can start making some potions and things. It's holding me back, and I couldn't put it down on the ground, regular ground. So we needed a foundation. Come on, can you find a spot for that, Paulina? That's a big bag. That looks good. Great! Okay, we have a spawn point. Yay! And how about a roof? It's a low ceiling, but Paulina's not all that tall. She'll fit. It's good enough for now. When you start the game, you can choose between human, um, elf, and dwarf as your starting race. I chose human because Pauline is human. And I think there's um, elf towns and dwarf towns. And depending on the race you choose, you'll start in that particular town. Um, let's get some light out here. Let's cast a fairy spell. And you have to keep crafting these spells 
Because they, they, uh, they do run out after a while. Oh, man, we're getting thirsty. Ew. We can make this uh, berry jam, which is fabulous. Or we can just go down to the river and drink right out of the river. But let's make the berry jam. That'll increase some kind of crafting skill or something. Pauline is super hot. I mean, yeah, she's obviously super hot. Just looking at her. But, I mean, like, temperature hot. Uh, you are too, Shep. It's because you, you have all that wool, buddy. Now, where did that... Where did my blueberry jam go? Oh, there it is on my hot bar. Let's eat it. Mmm. It's delicious and a hyd super hydrating. It's like the Gatorade of dark and light. How do we level you up, kid? First, we're going to grab your fur. And... Oh, do you harvest straw? Shep is probably going to burn through his grass to make that fur. You are? Yeah, we'll tell you what. Uh-oh, wait, something's coming. Oh, gosh. Shep! You better not attack my Shep, you. Oh, you stinker! Wreck him! Get... No, Shep! Oh, level 56! Holy smokes! Oh, this is the skeleton I was warning Shep about. And this is why you don't build a uh, straw... Is he attacking my straw house now? Yeah, I bet he can rip right through it. Let's see. Oh! Oh, he hurts. He hurts. Cast a spell. I've got a healing spell. Haha. <laughs> Keep running, Paulina. Oh, gosh. I think we can wreck this guy. If I can... Oh, we've got to web him, right? Let's web him. If I can get a little space. So you actually have to target... Where is he? Oh! Dang it! Ow! Yeah, targeting is a thing in this game. It's not like automatic in MMOs, you know? Like, you actually have to... There we go! Now wreck him! You kill Shep, you jerk! You gotta watch your focus here and your mana. But I think we got him. Oh, poor Shep! Oh... I have a feeling pets in this game are gonna have very low life expectancy. <laughs> Ooh! Craftable leather helmet? And Shep's fur! No! Oh, you dirty, rotten, dark, stinking skeleton! Take his bones! And his ice cube. Oh, you have ice cube chunks? Riding? My riding just went up because I'm whacking a dude here. Oh, horse? Yes, there's horses! Look at this guy. He's full of rotten flesh and bones. I, I could use the ice, though. Oh, ice. Oh, let's get back home. It's funny how quickly you forget about your dead pet. <laughs> when, when you're able to make a new spell, close that shabby door. Oh, Shep. Well, you know what? We're going to make a monument for Shep. He was a cool guy. Here we go. We can make this uh, rune of cooling, which will cool us down. Or I really want this right here, but we still don't have... Oh, we can make it if we get some uh, some of those things. Yes. Oh, we might have time to do this, but those ice ice cubes are going to melt. And we want to do this before they melt. Let's get this thing down in the corner here. Yeah, right there. Sounds good. Bam. And water and pestle. Now, how do we make this stuff? Stone. Oh, we got lots of stone. Make it. Uh, yeah, all of it. Doesn't matter. And we now have focusing elixir. And sulfur powder. Oh, awesome! How do you make this right here? Grass, field flowers, and magic shards. Alright, got plenty of that. Oops. Uh, where are my flowers? Oh, I've got the flowers back at camp. I have a ton of flowers. And let's put this helmet on. Why am I not wearing it? It's beautiful! Oh, Paulina, it fits perfectly. Armor 31. Very, very nice! Let's see that. Let's show everybody. Turn around. Oh, yeah. I mean, I like to see a red hair. It's beautiful. How come your wait? You changed your hair too, just like that. It was red. Now it's not. All right, let's grab some of this stuff. Quartz sand, and now we can make the frost bolt spell. But only one. Uh, but that's okay, cause that'll last a really long time. See what you do is you put it in here on your staff. You put the. Bolt on your staff, and now our staff will shoot these ice bolts. How do we get out of here? Okay, so now we have locked and loaded an ice bolt spell. 
What is that? Oh, it's a dead bramble hopper. Oh, by the way, your ship's still here? Oh, Shep! Can I resurrect him? We don't have a resurrection spell? Oh, poor Shep. Well, I'm gonna need that back, buddy. Shep, I need this more than you need it, pal. Pretty much don't need it where you're going. All that hide is pretty excellent. It'll do the same as Bramble Hooper. Yeah, might have... Oh, there's a, there's a sheep down there, but I think it's a bad idea having pets over here right now. That <laughs> That's just not gonna live very long. But we could try our new, uh... Zappy spell. I'm gonna try it. Wham! Holy smokes, that thing does some good damage, and he's frozen solid. Hopefully the sheep don't come over here and attack me. Oh, gosh! Uh, let's get inside. I bet they can rip right through this. Like I said, just like the piggy. Just like the three little piggies. Can't see, so let's get some light out. Oh, man. Oh, man. Those guys are getting wrecked down there. So scary. Oh. <sighs> Let's eat some apples and a little thirsty. Oh, I do have the flower petals. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. No, don't not lag out on me. I have flower petals, so right here. All right, we can craft 15 of the focus, focusing elixir. And I think we can make a potion with that. All right, let's let that rock and roll. Uh, you know what we need? We need a chest. Paulina needs a chest storage right here let's craft one up and let's get our stuff down oh hold on someone's contacting we got a text message here Arcos needs warriors who will be remembered in legend to live as an adventure practice and per oh she's just gonna go on forever this woman she does send us text messages at the worst time I'm not gonna reply because then she's gonna know we're here you know what I'm saying Pollyanna do not reply to her she'll never stop Okay, let's put this right there, I suppose. And now we can unload some of the stuff. As she's going to just keep talking, isn't she? Yeah. They do give you a little bit of guidance, these people. Um, and you do have quests and a list of tasks. And I'll show you that in a moment. But first, let's just dump some of this stuff out. All right, let's level up. Paulina's up to level 15 now. Awesome. And I'm thinking, uh, let's upgrade let's go health one more sounds good and stamina so yeah the game's pretty robust there's a lot to do there's a ton of crafting recipes we have tasks out the wazoo here and there's see this all these uh combat quests magic quests so i'm kind of working through these very slowly um hold on Something's coming. Maybe we can work through those quests together with Paulina. If you guys want to see more, just let me know. Just hit the like button on the video and leave a comment. And I'd be more than happy to play more of this for you guys here on the channel. I do intend to play on my own. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Despite its early access uh, quirks and bugs and everything else. Let's make some gauntlets. Because I don't think I have any. I don't. Yeah, let's craft up some gauntlets. We can put them right here where the glove spot is. Give us a little more armor. There you go, Paulina. Now, almost her entire body is covered in armor. Okay, well, let's craft this right here. The, the Rune of Guidance. It's a magic stone imbued with a navigation spell. Cast this to project a magical map on the ground that pinpoints your location in Arcos. That's the name of the place that we live here. Paulina. Paulina finds herself in the strangest places, doesn't she? Oh, we got three of them. Okay. Let's cast it. Ooh. Oh, Paulina, that's amazing! Oh, wicked cool! So, is that me? I'm looking that direction. So that's us way down here. Way in the south, I'm guessing. So we have uh, snowy mountains there. Oh, volcano. Way to the north. And look at all that water. I wonder if we can make a boat float around. I love that. So much water here. Now, how long is this thing going to... Oh, it's gone. Oh, that was weird. That's it? Maybe there's a physical map, too. I hope so. Because <laughs> that was pretty useless. I mean, it was cool and all. 
but not very useful. Pauline is just taking a stroll down the road here, seeing where it goes. I have no idea how big this map is or how populated it is. Oh, it's a boar. Oh, we can ride a boar, guys. Yeah, I'm going to tame him. Only level eight, too. Here, let's... um. Oh, I can't shoot. Says, Whoa, he's come right at us. Oh, boy. You gotta, you gotta put it down. Put the tether down. Ah, uh, holy smokes! I tried to shoot him with my, my, um, my, uh, my cobweb thing, but it didn't seem to work. Isn't that tether supposed to stop him from running? <laughs> put it down in the ground. Come on, Polina. Oh, we got us. I think the more tethers, the better, right? Oh, we got him. Oh yeah, we got him. Put it down. Put it down, 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 down. He's a sleepy guy. He's fatigued. Oh, what is that? Easy does it, pal. We need a feeding trough, and we need it fast. Let's get some wood. And I wonder what this guy eats. Maybe grass or something. Oh, man. I wasn't really prepared for a tame job, but we're going to do it. Trough. Get that trough going, and then we're going to get some grass here. Oh, don't wake up. Don't wake up. Don't wake up. Don't wake up, you goof. Okay, trough. Six. Right there, right next to him. Fill it up with some grass. There you go, big fella. Is that what you eat? Oh, yes. He loves the grass. Good. Good boy. Halfway tame already. So I did bump my taming rate up, I think, by five? Not really sure. Oh, can I take that tether out of your face? All right, let's see if we can make a saddle for a wild boy. Yes, we can. Just enough wood. It's almost like we planned it this way, Paulina. Which we didn't. Well, we get the bow ready just in case he wakes up. We'll shoot him again with another tether. Oh, well, we got him. We got him. He's almost tame. Oh, yay! Piggy Wiggy! We'll call you Piggy Wiggy for now, because I don't really have a very good name for you. And let's get that light spell back out here. Fairy! Can't see! Thank you! She's so happy all the time. Alright, saddle! Equip the saddle. Oh, it's down here, dummy. Right, okay, there we go. So, ride! <gasps> We're riding! We are riding! Piggy Wiggy! Oh, he's pretty fast. Faster than Paulina on foot. All right. Now we just got to keep him alive. What level is he? He's only level 11? <laughs> he's just a little piggy. Well, he's not little, but he's young. He's pretty, though. You're a pretty piggy wiggy. Let's, uh, let's get you home. Where is home? Let's not go home. Home's a scary place. Let's get across the river. Oh, nighttime. Let's go to town. Now you gotta be careful because the uh, the guards actually attack all animals. They I've seen them kill the uh, the sheep and the little uh, the bramble hoppers, but I don't think they'll kill a tame creature. At least I hope not. We should test this out. All right, we ready to run? You ready to run, Piggy Wiggy? There's a guard right there. We'll test it out. Hi, guard. Hi, just passing through, going to town, do a little shopping. You good with this? He's good with it. Oh, good. I'm glad he's good with it. Oh, he killed something. See what I'm talking about? All right, guys. I think we got to call it quits here. This video is getting kind of long. Um, once again, this is Dark and Light. I'll put a link down below in the description to the Steam Store page. And if you want to see... Oh, another sheepy? If you want to see me play more, then let me know. Give the video a like and leave a comment. And I will be happy to play more. I'm actually enjoying it quite a bit. I was planning on playing Ark, but Ark isn't ready yet. I wanted to wait till the end of the month when the new uh, update comes out. So this was kind of on a whim, and I'm actually liking it a lot. So hope, hopefully you guys will enjoy it too. So, all right, with that, my friends, we're going to call it quits. I'm going to go over here to my camp and log out, and we'll say goodbye. Uh, Paulina, how do you say bye? I'm not sure if there's any emotes. Um, I'm sh There must be some emotes. Oh, yeah, okay. Very funny, very funny, Paul. And she's not going to tell me what the buy emote is, are you? Nope. She's just going to keep laughing. All right, that's it, guys and gals. We'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.